Good morning, friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in darkness say, I am will say, I obey the star. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we hear in the gospel today, Jesus says, Can you drink from the cup about which I am to drink, signifying the suffering and death that he is to undergo for the forgiveness of sins and the salvation of souls? Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess Almighty to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy be on us, O God, as we place our trust in you. Let your mercy be on us, O God, as we place our trust in you. Your words, O God, are truth indeed, and all your works are ever faithful. You love justice and right, your compassion fills all creation. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we place our trust in you. See how the eye of God is watching, ever guarding all who wait in hope, to deliver them from death and sustain them in time of A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit, one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. 
but it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. In this gospel, we see the two disciples, James and John, uh, come forward and ask for uh, this favor. In other gospels, it's the mother who comes and asks for the favor. But in either case, they desire to sit at the right and the left of Jesus when he comes into his glory. So they're picturing Jesus as the son of David, uh, the Messiah, who is going to reign on his throne gloriously as it was in the kings of David, in the glory days of the kingdom. And Jesus is the rightful heir to the throne since he comes directly from the line of David uh, through Joseph. But Jesus reveals to him, you don't really know what you're asking. What has the Son of Man come to do? Uh, Not to reign gloriously from his throne, but to reign uh, in humility and suffering from the throne of the cross. And he describes the suffering that he's about to undergo as a cup a cup that you are invited to drink as well, he says to James and John. The cup that is reserved for the wicked as punishment for their sins, Jesus says, I am going to drink it. I am going to take upon myself the suffering and the punishment that is due for the sins of others. And not just some people's sins, but all people's sins. The sins of the world, of all the people alive on earth at that time, all the people who have ever lived on earth and all the people who ever will live on earth, including your sins and mine. And Jesus says in the garden, Father, let this cup pass from me, yet not my will, but your will be done. He shows his mercy and his love, his love letter to us as he is hanging on the cross, written in words of blood so large that they can't be ignored his willingness to take upon himself the punishment that really is due not to him, but to all of us for our sins. And so the invitation is to participate in this. This helps us to look at all the things in our lives in a spiritual light. The sufferings and difficulties that we encounter are part of of this cup that Jesus has taken upon himself and invites us to share with him. Not to just think that these are random and coincidental occurrences, but it is something that has become very valuable and precious in God's eyes. Suffering, illness, death, disease, setbacks, difficulties, all of them can be taken upon ourselves and united to that of Jesus on the cross for the salvation of the world. And we do that every time we come to Mass when we join our sacrifice to that of Jesus signified by the water being mixed with the wine. The wine signifying Jesus, the water, our own sacrifice. It's just a drop, but it becomes added and joined to the suffering of Christ for the salvation of the world. In a few moments, we will have the offertory, and we think for a moment of what is it that I wish to offer along with Jesus on the cross for the salvation of the world. Let us stand as we make our profession of faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now turn to our Heavenly Father with our prayers of petition. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that it may serve the world by standing up for justice and peace and defending the freedom and dignity of the human person, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve in the missions, that God will help them to faithfully proclaim the good news and console them in times of loneliness and discouragement, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may seek the guidance of the Lord to enable them to better serve their people with integrity and justice, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For an end to human trafficking, that the dignity of all God's children will be protected, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Phil Gunther, whom we remember at this Mass, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For this Eucharistic assembly, that the Holy Spirit might inspire us to renew our missionary spirit, so that through the word and deed, we might help make Christ known to people throughout the world, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Father, you have sent your Son to live, suffer, and die among us in atonement for our sins. We ask all these prayers in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. 
that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and John our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of love. Good morning. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. Our broadcast cannot continue without your support. Please consider sending a donation to TV Mass at Post Office Box 588, Winona, Minnesota, 55987.